You ready, baby? First off, I want to say that this is not a personal attack on you. I want to be done with you. But now, with this baby, you might always be in my life. And I don't know if I can do that. Okay, Sisters fan, shout out to Miss Ebony Obsidian for posting uh, the picture of the letters to Zach and Aaron on social media last night. Unfortunately, only the first page of Zach's letter is visible. We do have parts of the Aaron and page two of Zach letters. Well, okay, we don't need the Aaron letters because she literally read the entire thing during the episode. The Zach letter, I wish that I could read page two, but what I can do, um, I can read the entirety of page one, and then I can also insert what was said during the promo for next week's episode. So let's go ahead and read the letter, and I will give my thoughts. And like I said, it's only page one, but based on the preview, it doesn't seem like page two is getting any better. All right. One day, or excuse me, Zach, one day I wonder, oh, wait, y'all want me to read this in Karen's voice, don't you? Okay. Um, Zach. One day I wondered why I started hating butterflies so much. Then I remembered the day we met. <sighs> on the train, a butterfly got on and you ran like a bitch. The whole train was laughing so hard when you literally fell on me. Now, every time I see a butterfly, I don't even see the beauty in it. I just see a crushing weight. Like being with you. That is what you have done to me. Everything, and I mean everything that was supposed to be beautiful, you have ruined for me. I hate <laughs> that I have this man that wants me to love him, but when I see him, I see you. I hate that I wasted three years of my life hoping that you would change, hoping that you would give me a fraction of what you took, that you wouldn't meet with your coworkers and strippers, that you would decide not to hurt me again and again. And I hate that after all that, I still trusted you. I hate that I spent so much of my hard earned money on you. But I kept saying to myself, just hold him down. He's going to get better. He's going to get better. And that's all I can read. That's all I can read. And there were a couple of uh misspelling in there, like M-E-A-T instead of meet with your coworkers. And at the beginning, uh, we met M-E-T actually no somebody said that was tight that was a that was correct actually somebody was like yo look how she spelled meet wrong in the first sentence nah met M-E-T we met that's proper spelling it was only at the bottom where it says hoping you wouldn't meet with your co-workers where's M-E-A-T but who cares yet again Karen is blaming everything oh yeah also I'm sorry what she goes on to say in the promo for next week um, as much as I don't want you, I still want you. I want to be done with you. But now with this baby, you might always be in my life. And I don't know if I can do that. I'm conflicted because I feel like part of this is because Fatima's in attendance and they're probably holding hands in front of her. And as a result, she's all bitter and angry. She ain't showed this kind of emotion when she read the letter to Aaron. Okay, um, what's the point? I feel like Zach, what, what's the point? Miss Lisa, what, what was the point of all this? Like, this has done nothing because Karen refuses to take any responsibility for their failed relationship. And I tweeted this out, and maybe I said this in the video. I recorded several videos today, so if I've already repeated myself in this particular video, my bad. If Karen doesn't want to admit to any faults in their failed relationship, that's fine. Whatever. She wasn't the one bringing STDs to their relationship. But the problem is, Karen needs to accept the responsibility that she's the reason that Zach isn't coming back. Zach straight up said in season three, the moment you had me locked up, that's when I realized I couldn't go back to you because you would always think the worst of me. I realized we weren't good for each other. And Karen's like, I'm sorry. No, you had this nigga locked up for a crime he didn't commit because you assumed it was him. Then all the time she said, I wish I never met you. Who the hell would want to come back to you? Seriously. So now 
And I just look at season two when you were with Aaron. You were happy. You were glowing. You weren't pregnant, allegedly. And I mean, now all of a sudden, because Zach is happy, he's doing good. Everything is ruined. I can't look at butterflies the same. Get the fuck out of here with that. Also, didn't wasn't it said that Danny was the one that hooked him up? Uh, so is this sto- is this letter retconning continuity? I guess I don't know, but um, it's just ridiculous to me. Yes, Zach did a lot of foul in their relationship. I like the fact that they didn't get back together at the end of season one because I, I even I said back then. Just because Zach saved Karen's life doesn't mean she's obligated to get back with him. My issue with Karen is, yes, she wasn't the one that did the STDs. Well, excuse me. She wasn't the one that brought STDs to the relationship that was Zach. But she was the one who chose to continue seeing him for three years. No one made you do that, Karen. You did that. So stop acting like your entire world is ruined because of Zach. Now, I want to be done with you, but now with this baby, you might always be in my life. Where the hell is that sentence coming from? You've all, this is Zach's baby. I feel it. I know it. Again. But now, you might always be in my life, and I don't know if I can do that. Zach isn't always in your life. You're self-inserting your life into his. Why is that so hard to comprehend? Let me just say this to Ebony, and I and I tweeted this out last night, and I've said this in other videos. I think she is a phenomenal actress. I stand by what I st- uh, said about Sister Season 4. Ebony was the standout actress in that season because of the fact that Karen... As annoying and as much as I don't like the character of Karen, she is shown to have a range of emotions and Ebony does does a fantastic job portraying them. So in terms of acting chops, fantastic. Tyler needs to write this character better because the whole, well, she's pregnant, the hormones, and it was three years. It was three years of toxic waste. It was toxic shit and we're tired of it. Give Ebony's character more development because this ain't it. This makeshift Oprah Winfrey, you know, letters situation. It We don't need it. I thought this was going to be a good way to put everything out there. Everybody gets to talk their stuff. Aaron might as well not even have a role right now in terms of, you know, just participating in the event. I mean, Karen made it clear I have nothing left. It's like, you know, Karen was a car and... Zach burnt out all the gas and he didn't put anything back in. Uh, essentially, that's what it boils down to. Telling Aaron, look, I have nothing in the tank of my heart to really reciprocate your love. And he's still willing to give it a shot. For what? For what? So I just feel like yet again, we're going to have one of those situations where Karen is going to be heard, but she's not going to listen. Nothing is her fault. Everything is on Zach. And I don't know. So yeah, the back half of this letter is just more of the same nonsense. And I don't... Miss Lisa, I, I thought you were really going to help, but you, you just ain't do nothing. You just haven't done anything. So like I said, maybe next week things will change. Like maybe Fatima will speak up if Zach doesn't. But based on the promo where we see Karen saying, Get out! Nothing's going to happen. Like, no, it, it's just pointless. So... Yeah, so Karen's letter to Zach is exactly what I was afraid it was going to be. And that's pretty much it. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I mean, hell, Zach, block Karen's number. Block the phone number that Miss Lisa called you from because it, this is just, this this is ridiculous. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.